Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be reading Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems again. Remember when we met our author and illustrator Mo Willems, we noticed that he didn't just write the words in the story, he also made the pictures. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Let's learn some words that will help us better understand the story. Exception. Can you say the word exception? Exception. When something is an exception, it is different from others in the group. For example, I like lots of vegetables in my salad with the exception of peppers. That means the little girl likes all the other vegetables except for the peppers. Can you tell by looking at her face? For us in our classroom, we have playtime at the very end of the day, with the exception of Monday because we have library on Mondays. Our next word is serious. Can you say the word serious? Serious. If something is serious, it is important and not a joke. For example, my dad says he has something serious to talk to me about. Look at the faces in the picture for serious. Can you make a face that looks serious? Think of the face your mom or dad or the adult in your house makes when they are serious. Remember, serious is when something is important. It is not a joke. Our last word today is wise. Can you say the word wise? Wise. If you are wise, you use what you know to make good decisions. For example, my wise teacher helped me figure out what to write next. Do you remember the story, A Squiggly Story? The older sister was wise. The boy's older sister was wise because she used what she knew to help him become a good story writer. Wise. Now, boys and girls, we're going to use these words to help us better understand the story The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. So when we check for understanding, we want to stop and think. Do I understand what is happening? And if you don't, try these things. You can reread the story for pages you don't understand. You can use what you already know. We call that your schema. You can look for clues in the illustrations that might be able to help you. And if that doesn't help, you can ask questions. So now, friends, we're going to read Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. And we're going to slow it down a little bit today to ask some questions and see if we can understand the story better. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, written and illustrated by... Mo Willems. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. So remember, friends, we just learned the word exception means it's different than the rest. Do you remember who was the exception or different than the rest? That was Wilbur. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rat saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. 
when I get dressed, I can be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. Sarcastic is a very interesting word, friends. That means that the other naked mole rat didn't really want him to open a clothing store. He was just joking. But when Wilbur heard that, he went and opened a clothing store. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at that heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. So when it says heroic face, that means to them he looks like a hero. When they say look at his regal bearing, they mean that he looks like a king. So to the other naked mole rats, Grandpa is like a very important king who is a hero to them. Does that help you understand a little better? Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. That means he did look like a king and like a hero. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. That means in a t-shirt and pants. Ah, uh -huh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes! Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. Wise mean he knows a lot of things. Grandpa has been around for a long time, boys and girls. So when somebody is older, they've had a lot of things that have happened to them in their lives. So often this will make them wise. It will help them understand things better than children or people that are younger than them sometimes. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Ah. Then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Remember, regal's like a king, and heroic is like a hero. Gather the colony, and I shall make a proclamation. A proclamation! A proclamation! A proclamation! Now, when we read this the first time, we didn't really know what the word proclamation meant. A proclamation is when you make a very important announcement or rule. So he's going to be making a very important announcement about a new rule or idea that he has. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. That means he didn't want to wear anything too much, just a little bit. So he just wore some socks. Maybe not safe enough. Even though he's only wearing socks, he's still not like the other naked mole rats, is he? The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks 
but no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed. Now this means he is going to say what he thinks is important. My fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he dashed back, that means he ran as fast as he could. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. That means they got clothes on. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. That means everyone did. There wasn't a single naked mole rat that did not have a good time. The end. Why does Wilbur like to dress up? It makes him feel happy, doesn't it? How does Grandpa show he is wise? What does wise mean? Grandpa shows he is wise because he thinks about what Wilbur said, and he tries out clothes himself. He knows that sometimes being different is okay, doesn't he? What are the naked mole rats expecting Grandpa to say? I think they were expecting him to tell Wilbur to be naked. I don't think they were expecting him to come back with clothes on. Why does Grandpa ask if clothes ever hurt anyone? I think he's trying to help the other naked mole rats understand that just by wearing clothes, it's not hurting anybody else, and it's something that makes Wilbur happy. Why did some of the naked mole rats start wearing clothes? I think maybe they realized it was okay to try something a little bit different sometimes. I hope you enjoyed Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed.